Steve Eller on the other wing, Kevin Hastings and Desi Hasler, the halves. In the forwards, Mark Sarger, Ben Elias and Pat Jarvis up front, David Gillespie and Paul Surinan in the second row, and the lock forward for the Blues is Ray Price. And fullback for the Maroons tonight is Gary Belcher, the former Canberra and Broncos star. On the wing, North Queenslander Kerry Boosted. Mel Meninga's in the centres. He needs no introduction whatsoever with another North Queenslander, Dale Shearer, partnering him. The Rolls Royce of wingers, Willie Kahn, is in number five. Wally Lewis, the king, is the captain tonight of the Queensland team. Another North Queenslander, Laurie Spina, is at halfback for the Maroons. Greg Dowling in the front row. Greg Canescu will pack down with him with Brad Tessman on the other side. Trevor Gilmeister starts the back row with Brian Niebling and the classy Bobby Lindner is at lock. Referee for the first half of this game for the first two quarters will be Wayne West from North Queensland. It's the Blues running from left to right. And the kickoff taken by Ben Elias. First touch of the ball will be by the King himself, Wally Lewis, and that brings a few cheers. Here goes Bobby Linder. Still keeps himself pretty fit, big Bobby Linder. Laurie Spina in a dummy half. Brian Niebling. Niebling held on to in the tackle of Kevin Hastings. Greg Dowling. Dowling, who originally, of course, hailed from North Queensland and business-wise will be moving back to, uh, to North Queensland to the Atherton Tablelands very shortly. And another North Queenslander, Laurie Spina, makes the first half-break of the night. Now away to Dale Shearer, the trademark cutout pass. Lewis inside to Kerry Bostead, first penalty to Queensland. The crowd like that, inside the 10, Ben Elias. <laughs> be the first of a few penalties you'll get against you tonight, B.E. We've got, we've got the referee on side. Isn't that the case, Paul? A very promising start for the Maroons there with Wally Lewis getting the first touch at all as well for the Queenslanders tonight. At fullback, Gary Belcher. So Queensland have had all the possession so far as the big fella Mel Meninga plays the ball and Greg Dowling busting his way down the blind side, able to turn his pass back on the inside. Queensland only 15 metres out and looking good at the moment, the Maroons. They've done all of the attacking. Now away to Laurie Spina, cut out pass, quickly to Shearer, tried to dummy pass to Elias. Elias holds on to him for grim death and puts him to ground. Inside the 20, the Maroons. Now away to Meninga. Now to Lewis. Then to Bostead. Dropped by Kerry Bostead. So the first chance goes begging for Queensland. But shades of old times when you see cutout passes being thrown from people like Shearer. And then Meninga. Here's Meninga out to Lewis. Draws, Pete, uh, draws Mortimer. Then away to Bostead. Couldn't take the pass as he was put over in the tackle of Graham Eady. Let's check the conditions down at sideline uh, for tonight down on the touchline Chris Bombalus is there with Kieran Tui. Kieran what about conditions at ground level? Uh, pretty good down here there's been a lot of running by Queensland early up but uh, the Blues are defending staunchly um, as Benny Elias finds touch Kieran at this early stage of the game all the players look remarkably fit I don't know how they fare at the, at the end of the game but they're all looking terribly fit at this stage yes some of these players looked as if they just stepped off the football field last week very fit and I think um, once play settles down I think we're going to see um, some very very hard football now before we get back into this I just saw Lewis touching at a hamstring there let's hope uh, let's hope nothing goes away this early part of the game we'll have to keep a close eye on that for you well I have to tell you Paul is Lost ball, picked up by Greg Dowling. So we'll just hold that for a moment as Queensland go back on the attack. Only 25 out from the Blues line. The turtle, Greg Canescu into dummy half. Then away to Niebling. Niebling looking for support and finds Belcher. Then picks up Bobby Lindner. Does well to give it back to Greg Canescu. Sneaks his way to only eight metres from the line, the tortoise. <laughs> at, at this early stage, the Queenslanders definitely on top. No score on the board yet, but the Queenslanders looking the better of the two teams. Willie Carr giving it back across field from Spina. The axe, Trevor Gilmister kicks ahead for Rowdy Shearer. He'll get the balls and score. Oh, he's still got it, Rowdy. Still got it. Has still been playing football, of course, this year, both rugby league and rugby union. Hello, Wayne West. The referee has decided he's going to go to the video. Going to the video. Video referee is called for. Look to fair try. It looked pretty clean from here. Everybody's on side. A nice kick from Gilmister. 
puts it down. Well, looks fair from that angle. Willis is down with the video ref at the moment, watching this anxiously. Uh, look at that. Uh, well, we thought it was a fair try, but the video referee is our surprise guest, and it happens to be the New South Wales team manager. No wonder it was a no try. Ah, uh, you're kidding. No. No try. David Gillespie doing a bit of handiwork there, but it uh, comes astray, and that'll be Queensland's ball. Gary Belcher, the man you speak of, looking for a pass outside, takes the tackle on the halfway line. Still nil all in this game. The, le the legends of league between the Maroons and New South Wales. The Rolls-Royce of rugby league ringers in his day. Willie Kahn has uh, got the ball there, and he'll now play it right on the 40-metre line. The turtle to dish it off. And a loose ball. Picked up by Mel Meninga, and it's called play on. Laurie Spina through a gap, and he'll go all the way. A great run from Spina, heads to the corner, and this time, will it be over? Will the referee have anything to say about this one, John? Surely not. Laurie Spina scores the try. Two North Queenslanders having crossed the line for Queensland. Dale Shearer disallowed. They would have pulled the house down if Laurie Spina, one of the favourite sons of the North, was disallowed one. Nice offload by Mel Meninga there. But Spina doing all the work, really, around Elias like he wasn't there. And then puts on the pace. The North Queensland K Farmer all the way in. And puts it down one-handed. And quite happy about that as well. What about hanging out the washing, Benny Elias? Ah, oh, yes. This way, says Benny. In fact, uh, Spina got around his opposite number there, Desi Hasler, with remarkable ease. 20 metres out, 10 in from the sidelines. And he's pushed it just wide. The first try scorer, Laurie, welcome back to footy. Yeah, thanks, Tom Ray. Been four years, but I've had a great time with these blokes and a uh, pretty good defence out there. I thought you were robbed with that first try, but you certainly made up with it with the second. Yeah, who, who's looking after the, the side screen? That, that was a certain try, I thought. Great kick from Gilly. Well, our visiting referee, the third referee, was in fact the New South Wales team manager. Yeah, typical of the cockroaches, eh, Bomber? Scrum win by New South Wales. From Hastings away to Gary Jack. Into a yawning gap goes Jack. Turns his pass back on the inside to pick up low. Javen Lowe got it away to Mortimer. Mortimer fires away to the zip set man, Ella. Back inside to Chris Mortimer. Caught by Meninga. Got it back to Ella. His pass goes back inside to Scott McLennan. Keeping the ball alive to Elias. Elias is long pass to Mark Sargent. The big Sarge is knocked over. Only a couple of metres short of the line in a sensational tackle by Kerry Bostead. Oh, what a great tackle by Bowie. Benny Elias is disputing it. Well, but the referee... I think there may have been some arguing going on there. It looked like a double movement for mine, John. But uh, Benny Elias had a quick word. And uh, he, it's, it's been called a try. Let's have a look. Great work by Lowe, one of the youngsters there. Tremendous effort. To Mortimer, looked a little bit forward, possibly. Or is that me being biased? Mortimer involved again. This is good work by Elias. Looking for the American gridiron pass, but then puts out the uh, spiral pass. Charging onto the ball with Sargent. Does he get it over? Well, I don't think it was a double movement. I think there were four movements in it, so I guess that makes it legal. <laughs> the Sarge scores the try. Four on it is, and Ciro converts. Big Ciro adds the extras, and so the Blues are in front. Ciro on the sideline. Ciro, of course, you should be super fit having just played a season down in Blaney. That was that try. Take us through it. Uh, a fantastic try, wasn't it? But... Uh, so we got something super fit. I don't know. My preparation last night wasn't the best. Uh, Four goals. So running out of me at the moment, mate. So at the end of this quarter, uh, just about to the team as we see Queensland on the attack again. Get now. Lock We'll take it through this, Ciro. This will be a fair. No, bad luck. Okay, but of course, um, quarter time, uh, things are looking pretty even. Uh, I, I think you'll find uh, Fatuga will sit in after the first quarter, mate. So, uh, so I'm sure you'll see some more points scored the next, uh, next three quarters. Let's hope so. It's quarter time here at Cowboy Stadium in Townsville, and the Blues are in front by two, six points to four. Second quarter about to get underway here at Cowboy Stadium. Referee for the second quarter is Daryl Rooker. The Blues leading by six points to four over Queensland. The Maroons did most of the attacking in the first half. 
And now a mistake being made by young Russell Weiss putting that ball down. So the Blues will get to feed a scrum. Only 25 out from the Queensland line. Bit of drama, though, in the Maroons' camp. Chris Bomber, a sideline. What's happened, Bomber? Well, certainly is there, uh, John. Wally Lewis has done a hamstring. In fact, the medical staff here say this is the worst hamstring injury they have ever seen. But he's going to display the courage that got him uh, 31 origin appearances and something like 33 tests. He's had a CAT scan, physiotherapy. He's also had psychoanalysis. We've also had some acupuncture, tyre puncture, and he's taken half a dozen Aspros, and he should be right to come on in two minutes. Could be a bit of mouth-to-mouth -mouth going on there. Uh, Mal Meninga on uh, Paul Sirenham, but they both get up to play it. Survived to fight another day. Oh, lovely skills. Delayed pass. Oh, intercept. Taken for Queensland by Matthew Bowen, and will race away the young kid and put it down right underneath the post. That will bring a smile to the face of the Queenslanders and will improve the state of Wally Lewis's hamstring to see Queensland back in front. Young Matthew Bowen scores the try, 17 years of age, comes from Abergarry, was a member of the Queensland schoolboys this year, Matthew Bowen. That try puts the Blues behind again. Queensland in front, 8-6, kick the cup. Four shades of the very first night of State of Origin back in 1980. Mel Meninga was celebrating his 20th birthday that night and I think kicked seven goals as a youngster for Queensland in that very first State of Origin match, which Queensland won by 20 to 10. And from in front, well, he's just about put it out of the stadium. Nothing's changed with Mel Meninga. One or two steps back and hoof it's over the black dot for Queensland. So good attacking position now for Queensland. 14 minutes remaining until half time in this game. Greg Dowling takes the tap and charges ahead, but apparently run off the marks as the referee. Oh, an interesting tap there. He wants it back again. Says the ball not tapped properly. <laughs> So we'll have another game. This time oh. it's Gilbister. Oh, the axe. Straight through by himself. Gets to the fullback, Gary Jack. Sidesteps Gary Jack. And over he goes, the axe to score. <laughs> Might be a bit slower than in years gone by. That wasn't the slow motion replay. That was the actual try that Trevor Gilbister scored. Well, he skirted some mighty fine defence there, didn't he? Have a look at this. Straight past zero. Sergeant, Sergeant Gillespie put the hand out. Now what about this? What about the step on Gary Jack? <laughs> Benny does the big dive. And even Kevin Hastings can't quite stop him and he's over. From the front of oh, the shoulder charge, Sheridan went. Gillespie, ah, oh, it's days of old, isn't it? Look at that. Man of action. Trevor Gilmeister. Now the kick's been missed. And the scoreline is the Queenslanders leading 14 points to 6 over New South Wales. Now Wally. Yes mate. What's the trouble? Mate? Well I've got a hamstring. It's uh, one of those severely aged hamstrings. And uh, I must admit I was uh, at express pace when I tried to bend down and grab the ball. I was going at least quarter, quarter pace at the time. It's uh, not feeling real good at the moment. Now, mate, what are the instructions? You're a good attacking position. You're 25 metres out. What are you putting on? Well, they've just told me I've got no say. I've been the worst player in the field so far, and they've completely ignored me. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm a has-been, and they don't want to know me. How is it up there anyway, Mac? Are you getting any of those reflections bouncing off my bald head at the moment? No, no, not at the moment. Brad Tessman sort of overshadowing you in that department, Wall. Well, hang on. Quick, get him. an outstanding tackle again. I've missed another one. Ray Price extremely slow to get off. And that's not his own fault. That's just the pace he could do it. Laurie Spina to Shearer. Shearer, a delayed pass to Willie Kahn. And Willie Kahn gets wrapped up by uh, Hastings. Queensland is playing the ball rather quickly now. Belcher. Belcher is, is a go. <laughs> Can't get down with that. You've missed him again. Not only missed the ball, while well, you've missed the tackle. <laughs> oh, the zip zip man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going real well at all, kid. Oh, no. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I'll give up. I'll go and join Big Roger. <laughs> GD's waiting to be off the park. 
Yeah. Can't blame him for that. You missed the ball, and then you missed the zip zip, man. Oh. And Steve Eller goes in to score. Go and get Barry Gomeser, will you? We're in for a little bit of strife at the moment. We need a couple of controversial rulings. Steve Eller's missed the kick. 14-10 it is, Queensland in front. Benny, uh, as, as, as we just mentioned, a breather, how are you holding up? Uh, it's good fun, actually. You don't realise how unfit you get so quickly, so... Uh, it's good fun. The guys are playing in a good, good spirit and there's a bit of good time for the crowd. There's been a little bit of niggle out there, but of course professional footballers, you guys never sort of enter into that practice. Yeah, no, we were told it was going to be uh, only half out of it, mate. They're, they're, they're fair dinkum out there. Let off for Queensland. Here's the King in a bit of trouble. Now back to Shearer, then away to Grua, Gary Belcher. Belcher dummies, then able to get his pass back on the outside to pick up Matthew Bowen. Bowen loses it, touched by New South Wales, tackle count and restart. Now to Gilmister, Gilmister gives it away to Aaron Payne. Payne fires his pass on to Willie Kahn. Kahn has support looming up on the outside in Michael Luck, and Luck will go in and score. Queensland having all the luck coming up the half time. And was a member of this year's Australian schoolboy side, Michael plays in the front row normally, only 17 years of age. Laurie Speeder, the cane farmer from Ingham in North Queensland. Oh, he's decided he's, he's, he's not he's, a left footer. He's round the corner, but he's not sure what corner he's round. <laughs> I don't think he still knows. It's a shocker, he should have been a toe faker, Laurie. Got no idea, absolutely no idea. And the scoreline here at Queensland leading 18 points to 10 over New South Wales in this Legends of League game. Steve Ella picked up and dumped by Meninga like a rag doll. This is coming a zip zip. What and, are you doing? And Dowling finishes him off. Mortimer to Hasler. Hasler through to the youngster and that is Donald. Big Donald. Donald out to Sargent. Sargent off to Hastings. Hastings offloads to McClellan. McLennan. And does he get it over after a juggle? Yes, he does. Another youngster in the action, John McCoy. And that is this time Scott McLennan for the Blues, who's put himself over in the corner. Scott McLennan, only 17, comes from uh, Mackay. Another one of the, uh, the scholarship holders for North Queensland. They have some wonderful talent coming through up here, the, uh, the North Queensland Cowboys. So the Hooter goes for uh, for half time, 18 to 14 it is. Now they'll have to have the shot at goal. It looks as though Mark McGaw has been given the duties of goal kicker. How far back's he taken it, Sparkles? Back outside the 30, he's taken it. What about this for a kick? So Mark McGaw to bring New South Wales with him two at half time. Meninga to give him some instructions and probably trip him on the way through, one would think. This is almost <laughs> very social indeed, isn't it? A few steps across, he's almost back to halfway for the run-in. Oh, turn it up! <laughs> well, he's just missed. Had he gone in another 10 metres, he probably would have got it. No goal by Mark McGaw. Half-time here at Cowboy Stadium and Queensland in front of New South Wales at the break by 18 to 14. Underway of the Legends of League coming to you from Cowboy Stadium in Townsville in beautiful North Queensland. God's own country up here, gateway to the Barrier Reef and Magnetic Island of course. Just a couple of K across Cleveland Bay from, uh, from Townsville. Absolutely beautiful part of the world in North Queensland. As Meninga starts the second half, but didn't go 10 metres. New South Wales will get a penalty. That will please the New South Wales captain, Benny Elias. B.E., you're down by four points at the moment. What tricks have you got up your sleeve? Oh, we've got plenty up our sleeves here, Macca. We're going uh, to play it wide. The forwards have gone on the backs, and the backs have gone on the forwards. And uh, I think we're going to just take advantage of that situation because we're more athletic than, we're, than they are in the forwards. Now, you've gone to the back, so what do you fancy yourself as, Benny? What sort of a, you know, are you 5'8", the centre, a I'm flying going number winger? Seven. I'm going number seven here. Hurry, let's go. Hurry. Um, in the hands of Elias now, reversed, back it comes, away through Hasler, now to Ray Price. Hit it up, Sparkles. VE calling the shots, Sparkles, Mark McGaw, here he comes hitting it up, yeah. oh, and Barrel. Desi, get around me, hurry, hurry, get around me, switches it. Barrel by Horse Niebling, now in the hands of Elias. Switch back across field to Ella. Ella gives his pass back to Desi Hasler. Hasler has Gillespie coming with him, the old fella can't get 
get down to it though. Oh, you wouldn't be happy with that, BE. That was a chance gone begging. Mate, they're taking all these chances. We can't let them go away, mate. They're keen on wanting to win this game, these Queenslanders. And Elias dropping back to fullback, Benny, for a breather, eh? <laughs> Big Brad Tessman plays the ball now for the Queenslanders on the 40 metre line. Start of this second half, a third quarter. In this Legends of League game, Niebling around the corner. Oh, Gary Belcher chiming into that back line. Where are you, Benny? He's trying hard, but he can't get him. Gary Belcher, the old flying machine. Too fast. Too fast. It, it wasn't too fast, Benny. It was just that you were just too slow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair enough. The well, flesh is willing, Benny, but the spirit's weak, isn't it? Oh, jeez. That extends the Queenslanders' lead now. 22 points to 14 with the quick to come. Benny, can you rally your troops from here? I'm just about to. Not successful by Batch. 22-14, Queensland lead New South Wales. And one would think that Benny Elias will be setting up the all-in brawl shortly. He's got to try something. Touch by Queensland, six to go. Elias schemes out of dummy half. Selling dummies left, right and centre and does well to get it back to Jack. Then away to Jarvis, okay. trying to wrong foot shear up. Pass back over the top, given away by Hastings. Gives his pass back to McLennan. Then on to McGaw. Oh, he leaves the axe behind. Chased by Bosted. Gets to Belcher. Gives it away to Gillespie. And the flying feet of David Gillespie will go in and score. <laughs> what about David Gillespie? He's had it. I think the resuscitation He's team gone. have arrived. Now some concern over the grounding of the ball. The referee does want to have another look at it. Try. Nope. He's called it a try, and fairly so. Now Mark Sargent taking plenty of time about this kick. Yeah. Well, things have changed obviously since he last kicked, and these new fandangled tees are now in action, and he doesn't well, know you, how to set it up. The referee sets it up for him. <laughs> Back off. The referee has the shot at goal, and it's a shocker. Absolute shocker. <laughs> Now, stick to the whistling, thank you, sir. Mr West. What's what's happening here? The Blues are in again. New South Wales oh, score through. I've been off, uh, they, the, you know, the guys that have replaced me, Wally out the centres, mate. We had a vote. The actual thing was yeah. we had a vote after the first yeah. quarter to keep the King off because he is their best player at the moment. Are you telling me there's a revolt amongst the Queenslanders? Well, there always is when uh, this time of the year with the King, you know, he, he's just, um, he's gone. There he is, Greg Dowling here. Yeah, that try scored by Graham Eady, who's the father of Legends of League, the oldest player on the field. Luckily, their goal kick is a shock as Ray Price misses, but New South Wales are in front by 26 to 22. Now with Meninga, drops it on the ground, touch, should be six to go. Back to Niebling, and more hand passes here than the Gabba. Now to Shearer, Shearer, back to Horse Niebling, the horse at full gallop. Six all. To get underway, Queensland and New South Wales in the Legends of League at 26 points all. They might be having some fun, but I tell you what, neither of these sides want to lose. So the kickoff taken, the short kickoff by Laurie Spina, and we'll get it back. It just went the 10 metres, and that's all. Now wired for sound for Queensland in the final quarter is their star fullback, Gary Belcher. Badge just coming up into the line in support of Brian Niebling there. Badge, the last quarter you don't want to lose. What are the tactics? Well, I think we might just put a short one down this side here. No, Rowdy's going the other way. You, you're dead right, Macca. We've been having a good time up to this point, but uh, it's going to get a bit serious because... 26 all, both sides need a few points. The King, Wally Lewis in possession. Gary Belcher, as we said, still works with the Broncos as one of their skills coordinators and still looks fit and could be fit for Queensland. A little kick behind for me. Meninga looking good there as well. Now he's going to put the little kick behind for Gary Belcher to chase, so let's watch it. Here's Khan, away through first of all, Shearer, and wow. to Badge, he's over. Complaint to the forward pass, not accepted. How about those skills of Dale? Okay, Dale, yeah. fellas, all okay. Didn't come all from okay. a little kick over the top, but he's still got it, Rowdy, hasn't he, Badge? I tell you what, hasn't he got all the skills? I think he might be playing for a Cowboys contract tonight. I wonder if Tim Sheens is watching. <laughs> 
I think he may have had a little word to Tim Chins in the last couple of days about just that. Well, he's going to let him know if he, that he can goal kick as well. They haven't even drawn a name out of the hat. He's already tried to have a shot. No, they won't pick him for his goal kick. <laughs> Yes, I do think he would love to be back playing for the Cowboys. He'll never retire, Dale Shearer. He'll play till he's 40. I think he probably already is. Hey, we're, uh, we're pretty happy with that one. But I I've got to admit, it was a forward pass. Well, it was a forward pass from your angle, Gary. Well, I felt like it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> 30 points to 26. The Queenslanders. You're not going to lose it from here, are you? Well, <laughs> a long way to go yet, mate, when you're our age. I tell you what, Badge, I think with Rowdy Shearer, he was dirty when Cliffy Lyons made a comeback, so he decides he's got to do the same. Well, mate, he's younger by about, what, three or four years? That's right. He says these old blacks, I can still play. Here's big Brad Tessman. He's fair dinkum. Clint Arnold, the young Cairns fella, he, said he learnt that one. A forearm in the face from big Brad Tessman. Meninga across the line now. The axe involved. Cut out pass from Meninga. Gary, well well done, Gary. Yeah. Belcher just butts it on to John Robotham. Got it back on the inside to Belcher. Play on. Super now to Laurie Spina. Spina sneaking through. He's still got a bit of pace. Turns it back on the inside for Kerry Bostead. They love him in North Queensland. And Bowie, one of the greatest of all wingers in the score. That's a vital try for Queensland. Two tries to start the second half. Gary Belcher, just what you wanted. Mate, excellent. I've got to tell you, the Blues are going to get pretty fired up now because it's been tit for tat until now. But that, um, if we put a couple on... Gary, that's a great pick-up from you there with the right hand off to Laurie Spina. Oh, thanks, mate. I can't see the replay. <laughs> and Spina does the hard work. And Bostead, as ever, finishing off. That yeah, inimitable style. Just some shade of doubt about the line last pass. I'd say it was only about two metres forward, but the ref says fair enough. I don't know if you've talked about it, but Laurie Spina, let's remember what happened to him in 1987. His big moment, that trial for a Queensland spot, and a little bloke from Ipswich got the jersey, and a lot of us thought that Laurie outplayed him in that trial. So uh, his first chance to put a Queensland jump on, he is really keen. Yeah, been a wonderful player, Laurie Spina, with the uh, the Roosters in Sydney, and you're quite right, Badge. Yeah, it was touch and go as to who was going to be the Queensland halfback back in 1987, as you said, the little blonde bloke from Ipswich got the nod. Well, the story goes, Laurie played that well. Bob McCarthy pulled him off a bit early and said, mate, you're definitely in the side, so we make sure you don't get injured. <laughs> He missed the job. And the rest is history. And it's a restart now. Dale Shearer looking for the big torpedo punt kick down the field. Makes it to the 30 metre mark for the New South Welshman. And Gary Drack is going to bring it up through the centre. He goes out wide past Neebling. And he is brought down though at the 30 metre line. Laurie Spina does the work Billy, there. Billy, come left. Nastings. Out on the right hand side for New South Wales. Kerry Bosted just taking the player out just a fraction early. Just making sure. Just oh, Lewis with some genius work there. Just that Meninga wasn't actually expecting it at the time. But now Tessman stepping, weaving. Hastings has wrapped him up. Hasler down line. Looks like Eric Groth on the wing, Brad Tessman. And I'm referring to Eric Groth Sr., not Eric Groth yeah. Jr. No hair. As big as Eric Groth. Not quite as quick as the guru in his heyday, Big Brad. Greg Dowling stopping uh, the New South Wales attack in an unusual way there. <laughs> but it worked. Pat Jarvis brought down. The referee's going to bring it back to the 40 metre line. <laughs> the scrum will be set. It's Queensland out to an eight point lead, 34 26. Just 15 remaining in this final Seven. quarter of the Legends of League. The feed. Well, it's been won by the Queenslander. Spina, Lewis the flick pass. Back to Spina. Spina, one of the youngsters, Clint Arnold, has wrapped him up. Tessman out to Meninga. Meninga looking for his outside player in Khan. Khan juggles it, but picks it up and gets back to his feet. Offloads through Tessman to Spina. Spina out to Shearer. The chip kick, Belcher. Where are you, Gary? Oh, 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 you let him go. And he's off. He's half the age. <laughs> Hang on, if he gets it again, I'll get him. <laughs> Go, Gary. You're in this one. Go. Keep going. Cover the fence, Gary. New South Wales have got it out wide. You'll need to be there a little faster than that. Oh, look. Well done. Great time. Great time from Belcher. But New South Wales are still on the attack now. Inside from the youngster, number 18. That's David Matson. And the uh, New South Wales team are in under the post. Thanks to Hastings. What a ripper. That's brought the... Uh, New South Wales team back into the fray. 30 points to 34, a kick to come. When you go back for the replay, mate, don't go back as far as that missed tackle of mine. <laughs> Gary, you, well, you were nearly there for some cover defence. Oh, and some lovely uh, finishing work there, some circus manoeuvres. 
from the New South Welshman. Hasty sharing the round. And that belongs to the number 15, Jamin Lowe. And now he's going to take the kick. Gee, no pressure at all. Jimmy Jack's having a shot, I think. Oh, no, right ho. Yep, Jamin Lowe's going to kick one of these footballs into the crowd. The autographed footballs, the legends of league balls. And it's Gary Jack, front and centre to take this kick from 10 metres out, straight in front. Gary, uh, have you got any advice for uh, your namesake as he takes this one? Good luck. <laughs> and he didn't need it. He didn't need it. Two points in it now, 34 to 32, Queensland in front. They have a word with Shearer to discuss what's on. Mate, anything could be on, Rowdy's kicking. <laughs> We just say, do what you want, Rowdy, and make something happen. Four I think he's had a shot at goal. Six minutes remaining. New South Wales with the ball. Looking to set something up is Spangles McGaw. Looking to go out wide, skirting, getting the youngsters involved. And that is uh, Scott McLennan, who's tackled with the ball for New South Wales. Now they move it. All the youngsters are taking over for New South Wales. That is, again, Clint Arnold, and also involved in there, Donald. Going to tighten it up a little bit here. Hastings, Hopefully. Elias, ha Hasler, Jack. Almost split up the middle by Lowe again. The gone? Queenslanders have the ball. What's on, Gary? What's on? Oh, we're just trying to take it forward a bit before we go around a bit. Some holly here. Hit! Tessman, tough as always. Needling. So Queensland just on halfway, clinging to a lead of four points. Let's go sideline, and Bomber has with him Kerry Vosted. Ah, proud uh, North Queenslander, and uh, magnificent to see a great crowd out here tonight. It is, Bomber. It's really good, and uh, the guys have put the effort in too. I mean, this is a makeup. No, 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 we sprayed that on just now. <laughs> no, we did a tough out there, and uh, you know, we put in the effort. It's good. It's really good fun too. And you've got across the line. You can't complain. Oh, I can't complain. Jeez, you know, that's what wingers are there for, aren't they? And who's going to win? Have you read the script? Yeah, no, we'll win it. Oh, that's By two, I think it was the last time we discussed it. So oh, excellent. Should be good. All right, good luck, mate. Thanks, Bomber. There he is. Kerry Bostead with Bomber. This is Clint Arnold for New South Wales. Ball has gone backwards. No knock on. Picked up by Scott McLennan. McLennan held on to by Laurie Spina. They're only 22 metres out the Blues. They're behind by four. Benny Elias oh! catches them napping. Up the sideline he goes. Gets the Belcher. Oh, Belcher made the tackle. Great tackle, Gary Belcher. Belcher like a seagull on a hot chip. How are you awesome. feeling, Batch? He's gone. <laughs> the big gridiron style pass from Elias out to Hasler split the field, Hasler on to Hastings Hastings back inside now, looking to set up one of the youngsters, but Gary Jack opposite to that gets involved, Jack now splits them, and it's out wide to Jarvis Jarvis the flick pass, it's back to Hasler, Hasler has just caught short, just three and a qu three quarter minutes remaining this is getting tight, there are dead soldiers everywhere, New South Wales have tried to over the line. Have they done over, fellas? How, the, over. the Wombat was attempting to burrow and just couldn't reach terra firma. Now, do we have an injury down here of some type from the Queensland team? Is, so, our, is our man Belcher talking to us? In fact, that young Queenslander is Russell Weiss who's uh, down injured at the moment. So, New South Wales held up. It was, it'll be a changeover. It was on the last, so a changeover. Queensland bring it away off their own line. Leading by four, 40 points to 36. Just under three minutes remaining. Meninga, what can he do? Throws a pass, which has gone to ground. Went backwards, rules the referee. I'm not too sure what would be more frightening. Greg Dowling in his prime barging up at you or, or, or now because it's a pretty scary sight as we speak. Tessman on his own 30, giving Pat Jarvis a bit of trouble to, uh, to get him to ground. Neebly, wide pass. And <laughs> yeah, obviously, you'll miss the one and nothing at all to do with it. Not playing with the contacts, obviously. Here comes the Wombat. Up oh. the middle goes the bat. Oh, have a look at him go. The old fella with the dummy. Still going. Now held on to by young Michael Luck. 
15 metres out, directly in front. Down to under two minutes now. The New South Welshman spread it wide. Spangles McGaw. Oh, David Gillespie, third try. He's on the left wing this time. Bob's up everywhere, Cement. Third try, David Gillespie. It is 40 points all and a kick to come. And one and a half minutes remaining until full time. Well, the pressure will be on the kicker now. We'll see if uh, it's drawn out of the hat or they decide to go with the fair income kicker. Benny Elias looks to be taking control of the situation. Yeah, the captain's full rank. He's going to have the shot at goal. Ray Price not agreeing. Ray Price saying you're a shocking kicker. Give it to someone who can kick. How is David Gillespie out on the left hand? Wiggly, he's got a football under that jumper by the looks of things. He loves it, Cement. I think Cement's decided he might make a comeback, but as a winger, he's got the feel for this. Yeah. Referee signals time off. The clock's still going, in fact, at the moment. <laughs> Ray Price coming out to take the kick, but Wally Lewis wants to say something about it first. Just deciding who is to take the kick. Oh, they're signing the ball. Benny's just having a little trouble remembering the initials. Wally's setting it up. This. So shot to be taken by Elias. But this one is the one for the crowd. <laughs> Look out. The try scored into the crowd. This could go anywhere. The corporate boxers are going to cop it. Well, there you Lance go. Scramble for it in the crowd. So, 40 points all that remains. Just under 30 seconds until full time. Kickoff taken. Clint Arnold brings it back for New South Wales. Picks up Des Hasler. Hasler turning his pass back on the inside. Queensland just content to run down time. Probably time for another two rucks. What do you want? You want? 17 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Gillespie's involved again. <laughs> the Wombat just puts the, the head down. Oh, picked up and dumped. Big Graham Eady. <laughs> Gee, the time's running out. One second remaining. There's the final siren. Is that the final scoreline, though? From Arnold. Arnold decides he'll have a run. He's got a bit of pace, the kid. Graham Meninga goes back and takes it for Queensland to Belcher. Put in a little kick. Knocked over late by Hastings. Kicked ahead by New South Wales. Shearer says, don't worry about it. I'm back here to take it. These youngsters may not have read the script. I don't think they've read the script at all. Dale Shearer wants to change it at the last minute as well. The Maroons have got the run on to Gary Belcher. Belcher looking to outsprint the defence. Belcher. And the ball. Into touch. And that is full time in the Legends of League game in Townsville. And it's ended in a 40-all draw. Probably a fitting way to end this match. The Queenslanders certainly started off the stronger of the two, but New South Wales never far behind. And, uh, well, the script probably said something like this in the end. 40 points to all, a fair result. The, uh, all the players seem to have survived without uh, much injury whatsoever. Might be feeling too well tomorrow when they wake up. But uh, they've done well in front of a crowd of 10,124. Great night for charity. And they've really enjoyed it, the crowd here in North Queensland. Queensland and Townsville. Hope you've enjoyed it at home as well. Full time in the Legends of League. Queensland and New South Wales. A 40 all draw. We say goodnight from Cowboys Stadium in Townsville.